to Donnie and JD. Please let Alex Jones be your warning that your lies and conspiracy theories have consequences. Jones has been ordered to auction off Infowars and its assets to help pay the more than $1 billion he owes Sandy Hook victims' families. This December marks 12 years since a gunman opened fire killing 20 children and six faculty members at Sandy Hook Elementary School. While families grappled with their new reality of having one less family member because of the lack of gun control in our country, Jones took to his far-right radio show claiming that the victims' families were paid actors and was all some sort of hopes to take away Americans' firearms. Although most of us know our words have consequences because it was taught to us in elementary school, this is a great reminder for Trump, who claimed Haitians in Springfield, Ohio were eating household pets in front of more than 67 million viewers, and Vance, who confirmed what we already knew. But beware of creating stories because criminal charges will eventually catch up with you. After his false and racist claims of Haitians during the presidential debate, a Haitian nonprofit in Springfield filed a criminal affidavit against Trump and Vance. They were charged with making false alarms, aggravated menacing, disrupting public services, and more. And as Jones knows well, charges don't just go away. He started spreading the lies on his radio show in 2014, he was charged in 2018, and was told to pay the families in 2022. Or maybe Trump thinks filing for bankruptcy for the seventh time will solve it. But Jones tried that too. He filed for bankruptcy the same year Sandy Hook families won $1.44 billion in defamation and emotional distress lawsuits. And now look at him. Even the microphones he used to spew lies will be sold to help restore some sort of justice back to these families. When in reality, all he, Trump, and Vance could have done was shut the f up.